Explosive, unguardable, and flashy are some of the words to describe how good Tyreek Hill is on the field. But before his journey to the NFL began, he faced many challenges from being almost homeless and kicked off of his college football roster to becoming what I believe is the third greatest wide receiver to play the sport. This is the story of Tyreek Hill. Hill's story doesn't start on the football field, but rather the track. Born to his mother, Hill was given full custody to his grandparents and raised by his grandmother, Virginia, and grandfather, Herman Hill. Tyreek went on to attend Coffey High School and was most notably known as a premier track star, where he won both the 100 meters and 200 meters in the 2012 Georgia State meet. That is Hill running very well. We saw him run a US leading time in the prelim. We'll see what he can pull off here. Tyreek Hill crushing it right now. Earning him recognition as the track and field news athlete of the year and continued earning medals. In 2012, he would take home a gold medal in the four x 100 meter relay at the World Junior Championship and a bronze in the 200 meter sprint. But one night would change Hill's career choices forever. His family was almost homeless and living without electricity for an entire year. Once upon a time I was homeless, you know, I went through it, you know, so I, I, I can just only imagine, you know, being, a, being in a place like this in a cold environment, it sucks. And from that point on, he made a vow to never let his parents live like that again. But why couldn't this speedster land a scholarship with a big college? Well, for beginners, he was more of a track athlete, considering he was significantly undersized for D1 ball, being five foot nine and 170 pounds or so. So he progressed to Garden City Community College. On the football field, his speed was unrivaled. I mean, the dude was so good, the coaches used him all over the field, out of the backfield, as a wide receiver, returning kicks, you name it, Tyreek could do it, and was now on the radar of some of the biggest names in college football, like Alabama, Texas, and Florida State. His decision would shock everyone. The number three ranked JUCO prospect would commit to the Oklahoma State Cowboys, and once in Stillwater, Hill picked up right where he left off. As a junior, he was a do-it-all kind of guy for the Cowboys, and caught his first career touchdown against the Texas Tech Red Raiders. Let's try it again. In the following game against Iowa State, Hill finished with the season high 148 kick return yards and returned his first kick return for a touchdown of the season. And he even helped them win a comeback victory over their rival Oklahoma after he returned a punt for 92 yards. proving that Hill was one of the most electric football talents in the nation with over 1,800 yards in all-purpose yards for the Cowboys. However, as fast as his rise to stardom was, his crashing fall was just as quick. It was just one of them typical college stories about a football star and a girl. Like, you, you know how it is, people just bang, 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 he did this. Is a he say, she say moment. On December 11th, 2014, Oklahoma State dismissed Tyreek Hill from their football and track teams for his domestic violence arrest a few days prior with his then girlfriend. Hill did spend the night in jail and on the next day was charged with felony domestic assault and battery by strangulation. Had this poor choice just cost him his only opportunity to save his parents from homelessness? After 11 months in and out of the courts and no longer on the radar of D1 schools, West Alabama came calling. So a coach called me, he's like, Reek, you ready to play some football? I'm like, nah, man, I ain't wanna talk right now because the school just turned me down. Right. He's like, Reed, I got the transcript. So I, <laughs> let me type in Alabama. <laughs> I'm four hours away, I'm on the way. So and after me. originally turning down Hill's request to play, head coach Brett Gillian got to know Hill more personally and Gillian gave Hill the chance he needed to help his family. In his 11 games for the team, he never exceeded 100 yards rushing or receiving and averaged 135 all-purpose yards. He even had a 307 all-purpose yard burst against Delta State where Hill absolutely took over. And while only playing one year in Division I football and all of his controversial off-the-field issues, Nobody knew where to project this consistent and electric speedster. Some thought he may even be completely undraftable. And despite his good pro days, many teams had taken him off of their draft boards, except one team. Kansas City Chiefs select 
Tyreek Hill, wide receiver, West Alabama. And initially, the Chiefs were criticized by fans for the selection due to his past issues with domestic violence. General Manager John Dorsey had to receive consent from Chiefs owner Clark Hunt to make the selection. We have done our due diligence with regards to fully vetting each one of our draft class members. And with this case, we've done that. And at the moment, Chiefs fans may have hated that pick, but now I'm sure they miss having the third greatest wide receiver to ever play on their team. With Tyreek now signing a four-year, $2.5 million contract, he could follow through on his promise he had made his parents to never let them live like that again. But what nobody knew is that this was merely just the tip of the iceberg of Tyreek's NFL career. In his rookie season, he joined the Chiefs primarily as a punt return man and was showcasing just how fast he was and even achieved rare feats of having a kick return, rushing, and receiving touchdown in one game, which hadn't been done since 1965 by Gale Sayers. Nobody would be able to catch him as he chucked up the signature deuces on the field as he dusted opponents, but also to the negative of comments of the Chiefs drafting him. Finishing his rookie season with an impressive 61 receptions, 593 receiving yards, six touchdowns as a wideout, and it didn't stop there. As a runner, he had 24 carries for 267 rushing yards and three touchdowns, but earning him the nickname the Cheetah, and as a rookie was invaluable, proving that his Pro Bowl and his all-pro first team selection as a rookie weren't just luck. He had earned this overcoming many hurdles throughout his life. And in 2017, would make the leap from just being a gadget and return specialist to transform into an elite wide receiver the league had never seen before. And shout out to my friend Mason who gave me this video idea in my Discord, which you guys can join and could give me ideas for upcoming videos. So make sure you join up. But me and my friend always have this conversation and this dude Tyreek is literally the fastest human being to any point on the field or anywhere you can imagine. Like, I'm convinced this dude could beat any athlete you name to any spot on the field. That's just how godly Tyreek's speed is. And I even put him ahead of Moss and behind Jerry as the second greatest wideout ever. And the leap he made from 2016 to 2017 proves it. In the season opener, he had his first 100-yard receiving game and caught a touchdown. But in the coming weeks, would score an impossible end of the half touchdown versus the Cowboys that left everyone speechless and was on highlight reels for weeks. He managed to finish the 2017 season with 75 receptions for 1,183 yards and seven touchdowns. But if you thought he was good then, 2018 is when the Patrick Mahomes era began and the two would have a special connection. When y'all drafted Patrick Mahomes, what was your thought after you watched him that first week in training camp? I thought it was trash. I ain't gonna count. <laughs> and in the season opener, Hill picked up right where he had left off, starting with a 91-yard punt return for touchdown, throwing up the deuces two more times in that game, where he had 170 yards receiving and two more touchdowns. The tandem looked unworldly, and just when the lights began to shine brighter, Tyreek only got better. In the legendary Monday night game between the Chiefs and Rams where absolutely no defense was played that night, Hill had 10 receptions for 215 yards and two touchdowns. And if you think that's a crazy stat line, just wait. Because in 2018, his stat lines only got crazier proving how good he was. While leading the league in 20 plus and 40 plus catches, finishing up his best season yet with 87 receptions and 1,479 receiving yards and 12 touchdowns. Although the Chiefs were eliminated in the AFC Championship game that year, 2019 would be the year the Mahomes to Hill connection would terrorize the NFL. But no matter how fast he was on the field, Hill couldn't outrun more off the field issues he faced. You know, child abuse against Kansas City Chiefs wide receiver Tyreek Hill and his fiance. This after audio was released where Hill's fiance accuses the receiver of physically abusing their three-year-old child. Initially, he was suspended for the audio recording and charges he was facing, but later evidence came out and proved that the audio had been edited and Hill's name was cleared. And once he was cleared, on September 6, 2019, he signed a well-earned three-year, $54 million extension. But his bumpy start to the 2019 season didn't stop there. In the season opener against the Jaguars, Hill injured his shoulder, and he was taken to the hospital as a precaution, and it revealed he had a dislocation and would miss 
missed some time, but he made his return in week six against the Texans and would have some incredible stat lines throughout the season again. He'll take the deep shot. It is caught. Tyreek Hill. What a play. Touchdown. This dude's incomprehensible speed would help lead the Chiefs to Super Bowl 54 against the 49ers. But collectively, they are the legion of Zoom. And at first, it looked as if the Niners game plan for Hill was working. That is, until he had one of the biggest plays of the game. Launches down the middle, Hill, open, caught and help the Chiefs win their first Super Bowl in 30 years. And just when you thought the dude couldn't have anything crazier happen to him, his stat lines only managed to get crazier. In a week 11 Super Bowl preview versus the new look Bucks and Tom Brady, Tyreek reeled in 13 passes for 269 yards and three touchdowns, helping the Chiefs get the week 11 dub and the Chiefs get the coveted one seed in the playoffs. In the divisional round against the Browns, he had eight catches for 110 yards and only got better in the conference championship game against the Bills. But the Super Bowl was a different story. In a rematch versus the Tom Brady led Bucks, only allowing Tyreek to get seven catches and held him to under 100 yards, which not many teams had been able to do. But the Bucks did and it paid dividends, helping them breeze by the Chiefs in a 31 to nine victory. And coming into a contract year, Tyreek knew he would have to have a special type of year if he wanted a contract extension and made sure to put the league on notice in week one in his typical Tyreek Hill style. Starting the 2021 season strong with 11 receptions for 197 yards and a touchdown in the 33 to 29 victory over the Cleveland Browns. Like this dude was becoming Becoming a complete nightmare. Nobody knew how to guard him. Because in a week 17 game against the Bengals, he set the franchise record for receptions in a season, finishing with 112 receptions for 1,239 receiving yards and nine touchdowns. And in the divisional round against the Bills, Tyreek caught a 64 yard touchdown down the stretch to end the game, while having 11 receptions for 150 yards and a touchdown in the 42 to 36 overtime win. But in the AFC Championship game against the Bengals, it seemed they had watched the Steelers film and kept Tyreek in check, holding the speedster to seven receptions for 78 yards and a touchdown in the 27-24 overtime loss. And just when the Mahomes to Tyreek connection was in the midst of its prime, no one saw what was coming next. Tyreek Hill has been traded from Kansas City to Miami. That man is now a dolphin, and that man is getting paid. Tyreek was taking his talents to South Beach and teaming up with another young quarterback in Tua Tagovailoa, but early on, it looked like Tua didn't have the arm strength to get the ball deep to Tyreek. But by week two, Tyreek had returned to his normal self on his new team and had the usual 11 receptions for 190 yards and two touchdowns. Like, I mean, this was just becoming a normal thing to see him week in and week out putting up these kind of stat lines. Finishing the season with career highs in receptions and receiving yards with 119 and 1,710 yards, as we may be witnessing one of the scariest players of all time. and has showed us that no matter the obstacles you may face when given a second chance to not let them get away. From his early days at Garden City Community College to becoming one of the greatest wideouts of all time, from his undeniable speed and quickness, I think it's time to have a serious conversation of if he's a better wide receiver than Randy Moss and a top three wide receiver of all time, as we may be witnessing an all-time great in his prime take the field each and every Sunday.